Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. The northeast has heavy snow still in the forecast that starts this evening, runs through the overnight and throughout the day tomorrow. Uh, for a lot of the major ski areas in New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and also Maine, that's one of the things I'm seeing here this morning in my bullet points. Uh, and then you also have potentially another shot of snow coming, 315 to 317, not as confident in the temperatures during that, uh, that second storm system. But um, focusing on this first storm, heavy snow is on the way. Tetons, light snow, you've got uh, some light snow coming late. 311 and then moderate to heavy 312 and also 313 once the pattern begins to shift back to the south out west. Wasatch light snow afternoon evening 311 and then moderate to heavy snow 312 313. Colorado heavy snow late 312 through 314 and we're probably going to see a Colorado low spin up down in southern Colorado, southeastern Colorado, northern New Mexico, and around the panhandle of Texas, and that's what's going to enhance a lot of the snowfall totals across Colorado and also northern New Mexico. Revel Stoke, you've got a nice little period coming, including Red Mountain, between 3-9, late 3-9 through 3-12, with probably a foot of total accumulation. All right, here's the latest uh, water vapor, and I went ahead and marked all the features. So there's our area of low pressure that is sliding up towards the northeast with the southern branch, and then out west, the pattern is now favoring the Pacific Northwest and BC. You can see there's a couple different areas of low pressure loaded up with the northern branch. Now eventually that whole thing is going to start to dive to the south into Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and Colorado once we get into about 3, 12, 13, and 14. Here's the latest jet forecast. So by the end of the day today that's what it looks like. Everything's really focused up in the Pacific Northwest and that's where it stays for a couple days. Once we start getting into about 312, look at the dip in the jet starting to dive down the northern branch buckles, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and eventually Colorado get in on this snow and this, uh, this trough. And there it is. It's a pretty deep trough. So that does bode well for parts of New Mexico, 313, 314, even into 315 for parts of New Mexico. There's the jet by 316 starting to translate away, and then you've got this high pressure ridge sitting over the west coast. So that's really going to dry things out big time. All right, here's the, uh, the latest uh, forecast radar and satellite. So that's 530 um, this afternoon and evening. You can see there's not a lot happening across the four corners. Everything is up in the Pacific Northwest and B.C. All right, here we go. There's uh, 310. And er again, everything's up to the north. And then we start to th see things shift to the south. It brushes the Sierra, and then everything dives down into Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Here's 314 in the morning. Now, at this point, it's mainly a Colorado, New Mexico storm system. You can see some rain snow in Denver. That likely changes over to all snow across Denver in the Front Range. Now the low starts to strengthen here, 314, starts to push snow all the way down into Tahoe, Ski Santa Fe, and Angel Fire. And then it continues in the 315 down in those same areas of New Mexico. And that probably does it. Uh, look at the big west coast uh, high pressure ridge. There's nothing happening there with clear skies across a lot of the west by 316, 17, and 18. All right, latest numbers. Here's what I've got for my, uh, my grand total map by late 318. So when all is said and done during this time period, probably 8 to 12 through the Tetons. So those numbers have crept up a little bit, um, about 4 to 10, 4 to 12 across the Wasatch. But the big numbers are definitely in Colorado, northern New Mexico, assuming we get that Colorado area of low pressure that strengthens and probably looking at 1 to 2 feet in a lot of places. Anywhere in purple's over a foot. Uh, otherwise, you got to go up to the Pacific Northwest to find the big numbers, one, two, three feet there. Looking at still about a foot through Revelstoke and Red Mountain, and anywhere from six around Tahoe to potentially 20 up on Shasta. All right, let's look at it by time period. So rest of today through tomorrow looks like this. Everything's up in the Pacific Northwest, B.C., dropping down into Oregon and sh the Shasta area. Period two is a little bit bigger, 311 through 313, the whole storm system. Dives down to the south, affects Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado. You can see the numbers. This is when the Tetons pick up the bulk of their accumulation, as well as the Wasatch. Just the start of accumulation in Colorado. In fact, look at the uh, the final time period, 314 to 318. This is when New Mexico and Colorado picks up the remainder, um, the bulk of the accumulation, especially along the, uh, the Continental Divide, running down into southern Colorado with that low strengthening. That's really going to enhance those areas with some heavier snow accumulation. All right, let's go up to the northeast. This has really been one of my focuses here this morning uh, because this storm is pretty much imminent and it has, it has held and the numbers have crept up 
Um, so these are grand totals between uh, late tonight, tomorrow, and early 311. And we're looking at a foot, maybe a couple of feet. So it's kind of that 10 to 20 inch zone for a lot of the major ski areas. Snow Ridge, Whiteface 10 to 20, Mount Snow, Okemo, Killington, all in that range, Sugar Bush up towards uh, Mount Washington and Sunday River, Cranmore, all in that 10 to 20 inch range. So this looks like it's going to play out and be a significant storm system for the Northeast. And, you know, I mentioned at the top of this, uh, this forecast that there's potentially another storm system, 315, 16, and 17, although not, less cert not as certain uh, with the temperature profile. But this is finally, finally starting to get some snow in the Northeast after what was an exceptionally warm and wet period. Um, this will be nice to see. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate it, and take care.